who actually qualifies for your assistance? How many times have you tried so hard to support someone and come away feeling emotionally spent or betrayed? Is all the effort worthwhile? Renowned for his spiritual insight, Padre Pio cautioned us about some kinds of people who, under a mask of need, inflict bad effects on our life. We will investigate these strong cautions in this video and learn how misguided help can drive us away from heavenly gifts and even draw troubles. Type in the comments, Padre Pio, give me advice. This video will teach you the eight categories of persons Padre Pio personally advised we stay away from aiding. How might these folks sour your spiritual and emotional life? Motivating tales that show these ideas in action, most especially on how to tell the difference between people who are merely saps of energy and those who really need assistance. Keep observing then if you wish to know how to guard your tranquility and blessings. Let's learn together what these eight kinds of people are and how these Padre Pio warnings still make sense now. I want you to keep with me until the very last moment of the video since the seventh individual will astonish you. Manipulators are masters at twisting reality to suit themselves, using the goodwill and empathy of others when support becomes a trap. Not all of the demands these individuals bring out are actual, Padre Pio cautioned us, and contacting them can help to open the path for a spiral of emotional tiredness and abuse. No matter how sincere our assistance is, it turns out to be a tool employed to further the manipulator's self-serving goals. Many times, these people cause shame or empathy, which makes you feel obliged to assist them even if it exceeds your capacity. They know exactly how to control emotions, therefore generating a false urgency or inflating their difficulties to draw ongoing support. Ultimately, you discover yourself caught in a cycle whereby there will always be a fresh need or crisis, so nothing is ever adequate. Generosity starts to weigh you and might disturb your inner calm. Imagine a co-worker who constantly requests money, saying he is having financial trouble. You first assist him with an open heart, but soon you discover he never attempts to fix his own issues and returns with ever more demanding needs. Under this situation, your assistance feeds reliance and control rather than encouraging change. According to Padre Pio, true generosity does not support manipulation. Only when there is reciprocity and a real intention for change will helping make sense. Saying no helps you to preserve your serenity and direct your giving to where it will most be beneficial. Not every outstretched hand is worth keeping, after all, particularly those meant to trap you into an endless circle of exploitation. Although blessings cannot enter existence without gratitude, some people seem unable of appreciating any wonderful deed. Helping someone who is not appreciative, Padre Pio cautioned us, can cause us to lose our will to do good and alienate us from God's mercies. Thank you creates negative energy, thereby draining not only our resources, but also our inner calm. These folks often demand more as if they were obliged to keep assisting, not happy with the assistance provided. They start to weigh emotionally and make you feel bad about not reaching all their expectations. Persisting on making the unappreciative happy will saps your will and cause you to stray from helping those who most need it. In daily life, imagine yourself always lending a friend in need. He never shows thanks and keeps asking for more and more. Moreover, he grumbles about your assistance as though it were inadequate. You start to wonder over time if it is worth keeping on helping. Therefore, as Padre Pio taught, it is imperative to use discernment and avoid helping those who do not respect your generosity as real charity blossoms where there is thankfulness. Do you find yourself in trying circumstances and know nowhere to turn? Does your life carry daily challenges, lack of direction, and financial concerns? Imagine holding the means to change your life by faith using the strong prayers of Padre Pio, one of the most remarkable saints in history. Access prayers for every moment of your life to bring serenity, wealth, protection, and instantaneous miracles with the ebook, The Power of Padre Pio. There is no waiting anymore, though you do not have to confront them by yourself. Life presents unanticipated difficulties. By your side is Padre Pio. This ebook is the spiritual guide you were lacking to begin attracting divine answers to your difficulties. Get it right now and notice how your life changes. Every prayer was designed to increase your faith and provide roadways of access. Now is the time to act if you are tired of battling without any outcomes. Don't miss this chance to introduce into your daily life Padre Pio's graces. 
Get the ebook right now to see how your life might turn around. First pinned comments have the download link. Focus, just a few copies remain. Get your ebook by clicking on the link in the first comment right now. As means of fulfillment and divine blessings, Padre Pio always emphasized to us the value of labor and tenacity. For him, sincere effort and commitment are deeds bringing people closer to God. Still, it is more detrimental than helpful to assist someone who refuses to help themselves. These folks would rather remain in their comfort zone and wait for others to find solutions for their issues. Helping someone who shows no will to change will assist you to become an accomplice to their inertia, therefore sustaining the cycle of dependency and lack of self-development. Helping lethargic people has one of the most hazards since they could become even more complacent instead of driven to get up and act. Every time you assist someone who lacks effort, that person realizes there will always be a simple way out. Apart from distorting their focus from people truly in need of assistance, this can saps their energy and resources. Balance is key in Padre Pio's instruction. Charity should inspire individuals to keep on, not act as a crutch allowing them to remain where they are. Personal example. Imagine a friend who never really tries to get his circumstances better yet requests for financial support nonstop. He swears to improve every time he gets help yet he still avoids any kind of responsibilities including employment. You come to see over time that your assistance has merely served to support his reckless behavior rather than effect change. You ultimately lose not only your resources, but also your peace and your eagerness to be of service. True charity, according to Padre Pio, advances autonomy and personal development. While supporting another's slowness is a load the soul should not carry, Helping someone who displays effort is an expression of love. Wisdom is understanding when to speak enough and when to intervene. Sometimes the best support is to let the person confront the results of their decisions. Helping must so be a means of inspiring responsibility and action. Padre Pio advised us to be able to separate those who are merely waiting for others to fix their issues from those who really desire to grow. Assisting the lazy is not philanthropic. It is delay for the individual who refuses to act as well as for you. Serve as a negotiating currency. Not grounded in real love and respect, shallow and self-serving friendships are dangerous, warned Padre Pio. False friends approach you simply to gain personally from your goodwill, using it, then vanish as soon as their demands are satisfied. These connections cause emotional tiredness rather than development, which fuels irritation and disappointment. Helping someone who doesn't really care about you is like throwing seeds into poor quality ground. There is just wasted work and energy, no harvest. False friends and negotiating chip, showing brief thanks while biding time for the next chance to once more abuse you. They show up when they need something, financial or emotional, favors or support, but vanish. You may often find that certain people appear only when they need something, be it emotional support, financial help, or favors but vanish when you face challenges. The major issue is that these individuals can cause not only material, but also emotional damage by eroding your trust in others' good intentions. For example, consider a colleague who frequently asks you for minor favors, such as borrowing money or help with personal tasks, promising to repay you later. However, whenever you need support, this person is either absent or has excuses for being unavailable. Initially, you might overlook the pattern, thinking you are just being generous. Over time, however, feelings of being exploited may emerge, leading to hurt and regret. Padre Pio taught that true friendships should be reciprocal, with both parties supporting each other in times of need. When this doesn't happen, the relationship becomes a one-way street where only one party benefits. Offering help to insincere friends ultimately harms both the giver and the receiver, because it diverts energy and time from those who truly deserve and need it. Knowing how to refuse such friends is crucial to preserving your peace and spiritual energy. Padre Pio emphasized that genuine charity is rooted in discernment and love, not obligation. For instance, helping someone involved in gossip may seem initially like a generous act. However, this can lead to unexpected consequences, especially when linked with individuals who perpetually spread rumors. The real danger lies not just in what they say, but in how it affects you and your reputation. Gossip is a subtle weapon that can destroy friendships. 
compromise your integrity and obstruct opportunities. By associating with such negativity, even your good intentions can be misconstrued and used against you. Eventually, you might find yourself a target of gossip without realizing that you contributed to this toxic cycle. Padre Pio advised avoiding involvement with people who thrive on gossip and intrigue, as these attitudes corrupt the soul and distract the mind from what truly matters inner peace and communion with God. He urged us to align our hearts and actions with truth and goodness, helping only those who display sincerity and integrity. By wisely discerning, you protect not only your reputation, but also your spirituality. It is not selfish to choose how and where to help. It is prudence. Therefore, if you encounter someone whose words are hurtful or divisive, think carefully before getting involved. It may be wiser to step back and offer prayers from afar, entrusting this person to God's care, who alone can transform hearts. Remember, helping should not cost you your peace or tarnish your reputation. True charity arises from a balance between compassion and discernment. In each scenario presented, Padre Pio's teachings remind us that help without purpose and reciprocity is not a blessing but a burden. Be intentional in your actions and remember that true charity comes with discernment. Help those who are genuinely willing to change and do not feel guilty about saying no when necessary. Have you ever faced a situation similar to those mentioned? How do you handle requests for help that seem insincere? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more valuable teachings like this one and share this video with someone who might benefit from these lessons.